Now you probably know something about the electric interaction from previous physics and chemistry courses. So you probably know that if you have a positively charged particle here and you have another positively charged particle here, they don't have to touch, but they still interact with each other and they repel each other, in fact. So if that's the line between the particles, we'd get a force on that guy going that way and an equal and opposite force on that guy going that way. They repel each other. And you might even know that if you put them twice as close together, so if we separate this by a distance d, if we brought them together a distance d over 2, what would happen to the force? gets bigger by a factor of 4, doesn't it? Because it depends on 1 over the distance squared. So it, I should draw this force four times greater. And this force would also be four times greater. And you also probably know that if we have a positive charged particle and a negative charged particle, that they actually attract each other, right? So if they're a distance d apart, there's still a force of magnitude f, but now it's an attractive force. So this is stuff you know. The question that we might ask each other is, is how do they manage to interact with each other from a distance when they're not touching? There's another force that seems to occur at large distances that you know about, which is what? Gravitational force, right? So objects that have mass interact gravitationally even when they're far apart from each other. And so there are at least two kinds of forces that where contact isn't required at all, and these things seem to, to be able to influence each other over very large distances. And the question is, how do they do this? And the idea that, that we're going to explore, basically, for the rest of the semester is, an, is this basic idea, that if I have one charged particle over here, so suppose I put a proton over here like that, that this proton has associated with it a thing called an electric field. This is an invisible thing. It's invisible to your eye, and you can't see it. But all throughout space, all throughout, everywhere in space except exactly where the proton is, this proton is making an electric field that's basically lying in wait for some other charged particle to come along and be affected by it. And it's the same thing with gravitation. The sun, a big massive object, is making everywhere in space a large gravitational field waiting for some other massive object to come along and be affected by it. For example, the Earth, which orbits the Sun because of the gravitational interaction between them. So the idea is that a charged particle makes an electric field everywhere in space, something like this. So here we have, this is a program written in a language called vPython, which you're going to be using. You're actually going to be writing computer programs yourself. Uh, you're going to start learning next week. And here's a positively charged object. Could be a proton. And everywhere in space, it makes an electric field. And you can see that at every location in space, the electric field has a magnitude and a direction, which means that we can describe it as a vector, doesn't it? And notice that if I grab this proton and I move it, it turns out that the electric field everywhere in space changes. It gets big when this particle gets near it, and it gets smaller when the particle gets far away, and I can rotate around in the scene, and we can see that, that this guy is making an electric field everywhere, and so when I move it, I'm, I'm affecting all of space by moving this particle, which is making this electric field. So that's the basic idea. And right now, we're just representing the electric field by these orange arrows, which are supposed to be vectors, showing the magnitude and direction of the field. 
Uh, and they're not doing anything because there's nothing there to be affected by them, but if a charge comes along, it'll be affected. So that's the basic idea, and that's the idea we're going to explore here. <coughs> 